Man, two years. Wow. So yeah, today we're pretty much just going to be doing like a look back on my experiences with Kong Skull Island. And this is something I thought about doing for certain movies. I am thinking about doing something like this for Godzilla 2014 as well. By May 16th, assuming, assuming I have time, assuming it's not a school day, and assuming, and even if it is a school day, assuming I have time. But yeah, I think the first time I heard about this movie was somewhere in 2014 or 2015, where I heard that Legendary and Universal were supposedly making a sort of origin story film for Kong or something like that. Then somewhere in 2015... I remember hearing that apparently the movie had been moved to Warner Brothers instead of Universal. And apparent and that sparked a lot of rumors that, oh, they're planning to do a Godzilla vs. Kong. And when those rumors were confirmed in October 2015, I was pretty hyped. And I I think I even remember what the original release date for the film was. I think if I remember correctly, I think the film might have been originally supposed to. I think the film was originally supposed to come out in November 2016, but then again, I could be wrong. But yeah, and I remember in 2016, we got a the, the first trailer, thought it was cool, and then the second trailer came out, and, and I, thought, I thought it looked cool, I, I really liked Kong des Kong's design in the movie. So yeah, it seemed like I was going to watch, be able to watch the movie without any problems, right? Well, for some reason, in early 2017, I kind of had a tendency to get sick. Like, I got sick at least once a month in early 2017. Like, I remember I got sick in, like, January, and then I got sick again in February, and then again in March. Yeah, that was... That wasn't the best feeling. <laughs> and the movie came out on March 10th, and we weren't really able to see it because, like... You know, we were kind of worried that, like, the, the theaters would be crowded. So we kind of usually tend to see a film later than it comes out. And unfortunately, I did kind of get spoiled. I didn't get spoiled on much about the movie, except for one particular screenshot in the post credits scene. And that is this screenshot in particular. I didn't understand the context of it. I thought it was just like some like, oh, it's your silhouettes or something like that. But yeah, although I although I didn't know the context of it, so it technically isn't 100% a spoiler, it's still somewhat of a spoiler, and yeah. I did see the movie, though, and, and I really liked it, and, and, and of course I made sure to stay for the post-credits scene, and holy crud. I was really hyped during this post credit scene. And when... And when this cave painting showed and after that, Godzilla 2014's roar played, I almost said, YES! I mean, that was so cool. And it's kind of surreal to know that we're almost two months away from Godzilla King of Monsters. Because I'm sure you know the history behind the movie's release date. The movie was originally supposed to come out in June 2018, then it got pushed back to March 2019, which is this month, and then it finally got pushed back to May 31st, 2019. And I think somewhere in August, I did end up getting this DVD right here. And yeah, I, I am looking forward to the future of the MonsterVerse, assuming it has one after Godzilla vs. Kong. And yeah, I'm looking forward to King of the Monsters and Godzilla vs. Kong. And for those of you who are probably wondering, who do you want to see win in Godzilla vs. Kong? Well, I prefer Godzilla, so of course I'd want to see Godzilla win, but to be honest, I honestly don't really care who wins God in Godzilla vs. Kong. I know it may sound like a cop-out answer, but I'm being honest, I really... I'm not really prioritizing who wins or who loses, as long as I have a good time watching the movie, as long as I, ha as long as the movie is good, I I could care less about who wins or who loses. If Kong wins, cool. If Godzilla wins, cool. I just, I just want the movie to be good. Like I just want to enjoy the movie. And I think it's kind of dumb that a lot of fans are just like acting very whiny and childish with their favorite 
Monster doesn't win. I, I understand it's their favorite. They want to see their favorite win, but I don't know. I just find it kind of childish and immature and and whatnot. But yeah, I really enjoyed following this movie and and yeah. And something to know is that after I saw Kong Skull Island, it kind of started the trend of me like making drawings of other of the films and my thoughts on them. Keep in mind, this was back in 2017, so obviously, so something like this isn't exactly how I would draw them now. Like, obviously, I wouldn't draw Ghidorah's legs that's that short. I mean, wow. Like I said, this was 2017, and these are pretty much my ideas of how I thought they could look in the MonsterVerse. Definitely wasn't correct on Mothra Rodan or Mothra Larva. Ghidorah, eh. In fact, somewhere in February 2017, I pretty much drew this custom design. And I think a lot later, I decided to redraw it. And yeah, this looks a lot better than the than the above one. I mean, not only do the proportions look better on the new drawing, but the spikes were also better. And like, I mean, the spikes on the tail. And yeah, you can see how much I improved. But yeah. <laughs> 